Okay. Here we are again. Sorry about that. I had to, I had to mess around with the computer a little bit. Okay, so. Let's do some homebrewing. Okay, so first we gotta figure out what we want to make first. I have a few different ideas. And now it's just a matter of picking which one. I don't have them written down digitally, have them physically, so sorry about that. Uh, I'm gonna pick a class first. Do I? I don't know. Hmm. I usually make artificers of some kind, but I'd rather not do that this time. Um. You know what? Let's make a shield. Let's make this look like a, a shield focused fighter subclass. Holy cow, I just put my mic. Sorry about that. No, I'm gonna quickly move my mic out of my way. Didn't think that I was gonna be typing for whatever reason. So, one second. Okay, mic's back on now. Okay, let's see. What did I call in the paper? I think I called it a. A battle shield master. Oh, that is wrong. There we go. Architect archetype. Okay. Give me one second. I need to quickly just pull up D I'm gonna pull up the DND Beyond on another tab here, the window, so that I can um, check just level just levels and stuff like that for subclasses on fighter because I don't remember everything around the top of my head. Also for quick referencing for um, balance and whatnot. Okay. <clears throat> so let's see. It's just, okay, that was just, um, martial archetypes. Here we go. <sighs> okay, so looks like this. Arcane Archer has two at fur two at third level. Well, there's two at third level. One at seventh level. The second one on the third from the third level gets improved. The tenth level, the the that's arcane shot gets improved to another another time. Fifteenth to get everybody shot, and then arcane shot improves again. Eighteenth arcane shot gets improved. So let's arcane arcane archer wouldn't really fit this very well. Um, let's look at the ch I'm gonna change echo knight. Okay, let's see. It's third level, third level. Seventh level. Okay, so let's just go over here. Write this down. Three, three, seven, ten, fifteen, and eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Echo. I turn on. Um, champion. What does it have? Three. It has a three, a seven, a ten. Now, oh, no, they don't. That's just weird. You just get more options as you go. Okay, that doesn't really apply then. Not well, at least. Wait, what? Wait a minute. Sorry, I'm just. Sorry, I probably should be reading subclasses right now. Sign Warrior 3, 7. That is a lot of stuff for the first power, for the first ability. 7 is decently bit large also. 10, 15, 18. Rune Knight, 3, 3, 3, 7, 10, 15, 18. Okay. Cool. Okay, let's see. So now I gotta pick out. Just, this is when I normally just do like a rough, this is literally brainstorm. I'm just going to regurgitate all thoughts under the paper. Um, let's see, what am I looking at for this? One some sort of shield attacks. Shield attacks. 
packs. Um, shield buffs. Do I have a lot of defensive abilities, or just want to make this purely an offensive focus for shields? Hmm. Attacks, shield buffs. I'm gonna put a little asterisk next to that. Next to that, maybe not. Defense. I can spell. Defensive abilities. Special shield, um, special shield, shield weapons. So I'm thinking maybe adding specific weapons that, basically, depending on the kind of shield, you can use it for different things. So maybe like a buckler, you can use it to throw, kind of like Captain America or whatnot. And, you know what I mean? Just did weird little ways, like you know, basically you can use a shield better than everyone else can. Um, I think three, three, seven, ten, fifteen, eighteen. Okay. Now I'm gonna do a lot more like specific abilities. Okay, so I'm gonna give some sort of I'm gonna give this as like a third level option. Okay, so that's gonna be the third level three. It's gonna be one of the third level options. Um, okay, now let's go three, bruh. Um, lessened shield restoration. So basically what I'm thinking with this one here is it could be like, you can use two shields, but most people can only use one. Um, stuff like that. You can attack with shields. Okay, so that's those. Maybe a shield charge of some sort. Some, some sort. Holy cow. some sort of ability that can like jump in front of an ally to take a blow or whatnot. I play a lot of Legion, Star Wars Legion, so maybe some like Guardian from that. Guardians were like, it's usually Jedi have it. Well I think Jedi and Magna Guards, they both have it. Basically, if someone's if an ally is getting fired at, you can choose the character with the Guardian keyword to take some of the shots instead. So basically this could like, if your enemy is being Sorry, if your enemy's attacking an ally with an arrow or ranged attack, you can force some of the projectiles to be aimed at you. Maybe. Maybe it's just like a magical ability where you teleport in front of your ally. Though I don't want to force it to be magic. Um, maybe just give me another shield spell? Maybe. I don't want to forced to be magic though. Bruh. Um I'm gonna take off ability levels off this just cause Hmm. 
Okay. Um. I also don't want this to encroach on the shield master feet. I'm gonna look that up just to make sure I don't encroach on that too much. Maybe like the shield master feet would like like I still want the shield master feet to be usable for this character. Okay. If you take the attack action on your turn, you can use a bonus action to shove a creature five feet with your shield. If you aren't incapacitated, you can add your shield's AC into any dex saving throw you make against the spell or harmful effect that targets only you. If you are subject to an effect that allows you to make a dex... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Cool. Um... So maybe like an ability, maybe like similar to a paladin's, I figure which paladin it is, maybe, what is it all paladin? Anyway, basically where all, is, all your allies get like, within a certain radius, get like your charisma bonus to all their saving throws. Maybe that, but maybe like a plus two to like AC, maybe? That could be interesting. AC and saving throws, that could be pretty good. Deck saving throws. Maybe not deck saving throws. Um, AC. AOE. AC. AOE. AC buff. What level does Paladin get that? I don't think I'm going to another tab over here. Okay, let's see. Game rules. Paladin, there we go. Aura of Courage, it's the 10th level. That is not it. Oh, uh, where is it? Aura of Protection. It's right above it. Yeah, that's it. 10 feet of you. Okay. It's a 10th level. 6th level. 6. So, okay. We're looking at 3, 3, 7, 10, 15, 18. So I'm thinking maybe 3 little 3rd level abilities. We can give them the special shields. Um, less than shield restrictions. And then in shield bash slash charge. 7th level. AoE buff. AC buff. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so let's look at these then. Let's do. Okay. Third level ability. What should we call this? I'm just going to do sh sh special shields for now. Special shields. Okay, I'm gonna insert a box to kind of like replicate to a point the weapon charts. Insert a table. There's the weapon name, cost, weight, damage, and then additional stuff like ranges and whatnot. Let's do this. Oh, dang it. Didn't get it down. Um, Row below. Should we make three? Let's just have four for now. Why not? Um, let's do a a soft gray, but too dark. No, perfect. Soft, the same gray. Awesome. Okay, now let's go here. How where can I format? View where, where's I wanna get rid of the I wanna get rid of the lines on here. Format. Yep, 
It's fine. Okay, so let's see. Buckler. Buckler. I think, how the heck do you spell buckler? I can spell buckler. Oh, I don't know the different kinds of shields off the top of my head. Okay, let's see what's in here. Uh, sure, why not? Tender shields, round shields, kite shields, buckler, heater. Pick with that one. I'm gonna try to pronounce that. <clears throat> okay, so this one doesn't have tower on it, but I'm gonna have. Uh, actually, might be this one here. Yeah, that's that one. So I'm thinking kite, buckler, and tower. Buckler, kite, kite shield. I can spell and <sighs> do we do a heater? Sure, why not? Let's do a heater. There we go. Okay. Sorry, we'll give you one second. Game. We'll quickly just look up. I, I can't remember off the top of my head how the charts are, weapon charts laid out. So I'm going to quickly look at the player's handbook. Equipment. Armor and shields. That's armor and shields, not weapons. Here we go. Weapons. Here we go. Name, cost, damage, weight, and properties. One, one row above. No, that's too much. I want to make some light. Transparent. Okay. Name, cost, um, Damage, weight, properties. Okay, this one here is going to be smaller. Weight's also going to be smaller. And damage will be this big. Okay. Of course, then we have the length of these. Shrink that down a little bit. Okay, let's see. You know what? I'm thinking about just taking out cost and weight, or just putting the same as an actual shield. I mean, like not to like weaken the shield for him at all. Ten gold pieces doesn't list a strength or weight. I think his armor doesn't have weight, so I guess we can do weight. Oh, it's over at the end. So my water bottle's blocking it. Um, six. Six B. That's not what I wanted to do. Six B. Six. Cool. Cost ten gold pieces. Okay. 
Okay, damage. A buckler. Should we do like a D4? It's definitely light. Light. Kite shield. Gear shield. This is what we do the same. So we should make this here a six. D6. This is one D8. Um, let me make sure those shields again. Right. Yeah, this was it. <clears throat> okay, we're not doing that one. Do kite shield and heater shield. Kite it looks bigger than heater, but it could just be scaling. Bro, it's toasty in this room right now. I usually have my fan going, but the it's too loud for the mic. Um, let's just do a D8 again. This one here is a... I'm thinking D8 with a versatile of the D10, but no, not for this. Let's do... Bro. 10... Okay, that's... Yeah, that's a good change. Actually, spell out budgeting for everything on here. It does. All right. Wait. Okay. Um. Charge. Okay. <sighs> Should all these shields have a special property? Like, I give buckler a, the special property, let's be thrown. Give me one second. Um, I like to turn on streaming mode. Special. Okay, yeah, like I was saying, should I make the buckler with just alone throwable? I know it's not actually throwable in reality, but. Um, kite and heater are basically the same shields. I think I'm just taking out a heater shield. Uh, what are you guys' thoughts? Hmm. Special 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 Okay Thank you. 
Okay, him. Okay, LAR, buckler. Kite shield. Heater. Is it called heater shield or just heater? Ground shield, kite shield, buckler shield, heater shield. Pelvis. Pelvis? Um, I don't care. Um, I should say that. I might as well just throw a shield in a buckler. <clears throat> Where is special? Listed special weapons, special rules. Okay, it's just bold. Period. It continues as what it's saying. Okay. Buckler. Um. You have a plus. AC. Kai Shield. Crater creature within five feet gain a plus two bonus to AC. I should say while holding this Looks okay to me. <clears throat> I kind of just want to put like, instead of putting special, just put like, Barakamo. Just plus two, plus two AC. Plus three on that one. <clears throat> this one here would have, what is it, plus three AC, heavy, and special. Plus two AC. 
Sushi. Hmm. I'm definitely going to change this here. Tower shield weights. Assuming that. What? This is the thing. Uh, no, I'm just gonna read this thing. Her tower shield makes the power six of the Yoda. Would weigh around 25 pounds. It's just bronze of the density run. How big is the tower shield? How much does the average shield weigh? How heavy is a medieval? Yeah, yeah. 25. How obscene is that based off this stuff here? A halberd is 20, so. I guess. Heavy for a shield, though. That's. I can't put that. That means that the one shield would need two hands. Additionally. Heavy word. No, maybe this uh, heavy. Creatures are small and tiny at disadvantage of attack rolls. Heavy weapons, size bulk. Oh, wait. Heavy does not require two hands. Two handed requires two hands. It's all supposed to be period. Okay, um, heater shields. I can do a quick a little bit of research. Heater versus kite. Kite shields. I don't watch YouTube video. Demon souls. Kite versus heater shields. Kind of shield to heater shield. Why? What? This is taller. Hmm, I probably should have done a little research before this. Um, okay, let's see. Hmm, okay, let's see. Um, this is going to be 25. Um, let's just do 20, make it a little bit easier. Let's do a rough estimation based off of art. Which I know you could get a lot from that stuff, but, um, kite, shield, bro. two point seven pounds per square feet, eight pounds, ten ounces, so, I was gonna say eight pounds, Hmm. Wait, what? Oh. Grams? Who's measuring a shield in grams? I was just going to assume 
that he, that he or shield is six pounds. I'm assuming that they probably base it off of that. So it's a buckler way. Buckler. 1.3 kilograms. Two and six sevens pounds. So three pounds. There we go. Okay. <sighs> Special shields. Heater shield. Um, you know what? Okay, why is it called? Okay, I should definitely do some more research on this. I want to do some more research after and look into the difference between these. I'll change them. I'm thinking maybe one giving a plus two bonus to deck saves or whatever. You know what I mean? Just, just cause <laughs> making it giving making it different. Give one a plus two to AC. Give one a plus two to saving throws. The other plus two to um, yeah. I'm not sure yet. Just you know, make making making it different because right now the only difference is this. I haven't changed the cost at all. Okay. Your training. Training in shields. Shield. Has given you. This? What the heck? Your training in shields giving you the, have, has given you the ability to use each shield's unique features to its best, to its fullest. Fullest. Aiding you and your allies in advance. No, but no. Allies and what? What? Giving. I cannot spell. Giving your foes a dis. No, I spelled that word. Giving your foes. That was the wrong one. Dang it. Okay. Bro, it's toasty in here. When you buy or whenever you get a Or you get a shield. Shield. Your. Does it always say DM or Dungeon Master?
Hmm. This is weird. I'm not sure how to word this. <sighs> features to your that's better reading Your training with shield is giving you the ability. Um, has given you, you a mastery. people would use the shield the same. You use its unique feet. There. Nope, that is not the right word. Unique features to your advantage. Types too. Why is that capitalized? The problem with wording it this way right now is that I did it again. I can't talk and type at the same time. The problem with wording it this way, choose, choose, is that it's like any shield could be any of these, and that's not right. I want to make it so you can choose to either use as a basic shield. Or as one of these shields. But your DM chooses which of these shields. Do they use parentheses in this a lot? See chapter 9, see... Um, they do. Oh, right here. The DM assigns the damage type appropriate to the object. Here we go. Perfect. One of the types found. The DM assigns 
the proper type. That works. Let's see. That's a special shield. So now I just need to rename that. Okay. Bro, I'm sweating right now. It's hot in here. Yeah, I'm in my apartment right now, and yeah, it's I'm at, yeah my college apartment, college dorm. They tell us not to put the temp the 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 AC below seventy two, which is already really high because it'll freeze up. And it's like it's eighty three outside right now. You can see that. So yeah, it is cooler in here, but it does not feel like it. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm starting to think maybe the AC screwed up. Because me walking from my room to the hallway in my apartment is already gets cooler. With even walking from my apartment hallway, from from my from my apartment out to the main area, the main lobby, it just the temperature difference. It's yeah, I don't know, that's gotta be screwed up so somehow. But yeah, like my thermostat says 72, but then it says the room's actually at 75 to 77, like, at all times. Like, it's not actually being able to keep up. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway. Um, let's... Is there a cross out? This one should be one. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Lesson to shield restrictions. Shield master. Shield master. I should I throw this in with the shield special shields? I think I will. Additionally, you what are, what other restrictions of oh, shields? I just need to probably should just read that over quickly. Like I know them, but I of course not from heart. Shields. A shield is made from wood or metal and is carried in by one hand. Wielding a shield increases your armor class by two. You can benefit from only one shield at a time. Okay, so basically I want to get rid of that part. You can benefit from only one shield at a time. Additionally, you are no longer or not are no now or not free. I don't want to say how should I word this? <laughs> Normally, I'm fine with wording things. You are no longer restrain restricted to one shield. Oh wait, okay, so it's, you can benefit from only one shield at a time. You can benefit you can benefit from a shield you are from any number of shields you are wielding. Additionally, you, you can benefit 
from any number of shields you are wielding. I feel like that that sentence is going to be abused so hard. I'm just gonna underline that to come back to really look at that. Welding, wielding. Why is it green? Define wielding. Yeah, okay, why are you underlining green? What is green? Anyway. Average view is five. Who there's no one watching them. The current viewers is still zero. That's just because I do I technically count as a view? Because it just says I'm on here. Hmm. Anyway. Okay, shield attacks. Let me look over all the key or word keywords. Word keywords? Yeah. On the weapons. Weapon properties, ammunition, finesse. Um smokers? Nah. Heavy, light, loading, range, reach, special, thrown, two handed, versatile. Should I make? I'm thinking maybe making. I'm making the tower shield a d12. Then making either the kite or the heater versatile, and the other one give a plus two bonus to. to dex. Not just dex, to dex saves. Special. special okay this here alone honestly is very powerful because you can benefit so let's say you can be an elephant and an elephant what the heck's the name of that race it's the magic gathering one Ravnica it's the elephant what the heck's the elephant called Shield master feet game rules races the elephant what the heck's the elephant called um, where be it at? Not trimmed. What the heck? Loxodon. Yeah, it could be a Loxodon. Can Loxodon, can Loxodon hold shields in their trunk? I, be oh, I don't have it on DDB. Oh, dang it. I don't have my book here either. <laughs> Let's just Google Loxodon 5e. Loxodon 5e. This is my. Ah, oh, come on. Locks it all. Duty, fifth edition. Um, off the build, lost on serenity. Um, trunk. You can grasp things in your trunk. You can use it as a snorkel, and it has reach of five feet. It can lift it, and it can lift a number of pounds. Lieutenant. Creature. Open or close a door, con or container, grapple someone, or make an unarmed strike. Your DM can allow other other such wait. Oh, okay. But I don't know why. Why am I having such a hard time of reading? Your DM might allow other simple tasks to be added to this list. Of options, it can wield weapons or shields. Oh, can't. Okay, so it can't wield or shield. Okay, cannot use shields. My bad. I thought it could. Which means it's still the only. Which means I think there's still no race with an extra limb. That can do everything, of course. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Oh my word, I just realized something. That tower shield is busted. 
simply because it has, while holding this weapon, you you and up to one up creature within five feet gain a plus three bonus to AC. You have a bunch of peasants next to you. You can fit eight peasant peasants around you, and then you just that's already eight times three, which is a number I don't feel like multiplying. Uh, that's twenty four. You already just just that, not including your AC alone. If you don't, okay, let's assume you also have those. So that'd be a sixteen, just already without your dexterity. Let's assume you have plate armor, which is eighteen plus six from those shields. Yeah, that's already over way over. That's almost like, that's almost forty, level three. Dang it, I wanted to be special. Okay, guess I'm taking special out of that. <laughs> also, these. This one no longer gets a special property. I think I'm not getting it thrown. I think I'll give it thrown. Not giving a thrown thing a special weapon attack. Because throwing a tower shield is a bit of. Yeah, these ones don't make more sense. A buckler does make sense. Throne. How is this? What is it again? I never actually do weapons all that much. If you cannot tell. Weapons. Throne. Okay, parentheses. I thought. Okay, it's different. Range. Oh, okay, I think it's not cap. Range. Um, should be dagger distance. Yeah, throwing a shield 120 feet is not plausible. How far can someone throw a buckler? What is this? Looks like it's from a game. Yeah, no. Yeah, 20, 20 to 60 looks good, I guess. 20 to 60. Not 69, 60. 20 to 60. There we go, that works. Light throne, light versatile, light throne. Okay, one's gonna be special. So for, the, for now. I kind of want to think about giving kite shield. Yeah, I'm torn. Heater shield literally makes me think like anti dragon. I'm just going to give one versatile. I'm just going to give kite shield versatile for now. Versatile. How's versatile? Okay. 1d10. Heater shield while holding, wielding this weapon, you gain plus two bonus to come on. Time to go through and reformat this. It's proper. I shouldn't be doing this now. No waste your guys' time. Bro, it's toasty. Okay. <sighs> Should remove the tower shield one special ability, but I like it. It's fun being able to, like, defend your ally. Like, if you don't try to break it, it's really good, but of course it's everything if you don't try to break it. I'll leave it for now. I'll just... I'll 
underline this. Another word, two tower sheets. Oh wait, it's not busted. Because it's a special class ability that gives it this to you. I freaking completely forgot that. <laughs> You cannot give peasants these shields because they just treat them as normal shields. This still really scares me, this one here. <laughs> but this here's already a plus six to your EC, assuming you use two tower shields, which is, you know, very reasonable. Oh, wait, no, rules is written. Light. You can only do wield bucklers, technically. I'll leave it the way it is, I like it. Okay. So now, we have special shield weapons. We kind of an AOE buffs. Shield throw, that's not gonna be a thing anymore. Um, shield bash, charge, lessons, shield restriction, those are covered up in the same thing. Covered in the same thing. So now AoE buffs, shield bash, slash charge. Hmm. I think. Because right now, this... The problem that I have with this right now is you're, I uh, guess I am dishing out a ton of armor class with this. But it's not actually giving much offensive power at all. I just guess you're fighting with shields. Your goal isn't necessarily to be super offensive with shields. Hmm. Shield bash charge. Sure, why not? What am I doing? There we go. Heck, this, these are not the official names, really bad at naming abilities. Hmm. Shield attacks. So, right, I'm just trying to think. of different weird things I could do with this. <sighs> things that see people do is shoot cap, he, he, what was it? He basically can reflect, deflect, ray, like, what is it? Iron Man's lasers. He can launch people with his shield to a point. Just a more like just stamp. I guess I could do that. Huh. So I'm just thinking about level one characters at this point, like how high they can get their AC if they get two tower shields. I think. What's the best armor they you can get? I think it's scale mail. They can get level one or starter. Start off with. So let's see where it sits. Adventure and gear. Armors and shields. Chain mail? Can they get chain mail level one? I'm gonna say scale mail is 14 plus dex, max 2. 2 plus 2 to dex is not hard to get. It's gonna be 16 from that. If you cheat, if if your fighting style is defense, defense one, it's gonna be plus two. So it's gonna get 18. Plus six from these. That's a lot. 18 
18 plus 6 24 30 <sighs> oh, boy. oh wait no I keep forgetting you can't do of these because this one here has the light property you can only use one of them How does light worded? Light. Light weapon is a small and easy to handle. Making it ideal to use when fighting with two weapons. See, two of them fighting. Two weapons fighting. When you take the attack action and attack with a light melee weapon that you're holding in one hand, you can use a bonus action to attack with a different light weapon. That's just for attacking. You can still hold two... Oh my gosh. Yeah, well, I have to deal with 30 AC is a level 3. I can reduce it a little bit if I just make it a plus 2. It's not fun though. Also, this is where you get plus three from here, and you get plus three again from there. While while wielding this weapon. How is it worded? You can give one willing creature. Choose a willing creature. You can choose a willing creature within five feet of you. That creature gains a plus thing two or one maybe. I think I'll make it just make two. Plus two bonus to AC. Because you're covering yourself with it. And they're just like because they're close to you. So I'll, I'll make it that. <clears throat> you make a shield anchor, you can anchor yourself in the ground. Shield bash charge. I think about this level three. But I'm gonna make that just level three. So make this a seven. No, I'll make it the shield bash charge. You can use your action to move. with a sword. 
No, what am I thinking? With a shield. The shield that you are wielding. Okay, I'm gonna quickly look up. Boar 5e. I'm doing giant boar because I know it has a charge. Charge. If the boar moves at least 20 feet. You know what? I'm just gonna. I do this sometimes. Ten feet. No, oh, they just do f ten feet. Okay, yeah, target. You can use your action to make a melee with an attack. The ship you are wielding. The attack deals and you know I want to make this twenty. No. Move at least ten feet. The attack deals and Additional, additional D six for every <coughs> ten feet you move. Move. You moved. Attack. This could be very abused. My thoughts are like if you're falling seventy feet, you're gonna take seventy. You're gonna take seventy six falling damage from falling. But hmm. But that would also lead to seventy six. Every ten feet you move before attacking. It's equal to your <gasps> There we go. That's putting caps on things is usually a good idea. Think about you can benefit from two shields at any time. But well, we I guess like it's a shield next to you, but the, the creature must make a Strength saving throw. Or B. How is it worded? From the giant. I have it pasted up below me. Pushed or shoved? How is Thunder Wave worded? I'm going to be pushed 10 feet away from you. 
cool. Or be pushed ten. That's also powerful. Okay, <laughs> now I'm thinking about doing like an anchoring thing. If a creature tries to push What are the actions? <laughs> I probably shouldn't be act actions in combat. Attack, cast a spell. Uh, with the weird ones. Like push, shove. Knock prone. That kind of stuff. Control F. Shoving a creature. Okay. Grab show you a creature. It tries to shove you or knock you prone. If Doesn't have the light property. You can give yourself advantage. Okay, wait, wait, whoa. You can use your reaction to give yourself advantage on. Okay, wait. I'm trying to think. If you have to make a save, because it requires you have a saving throw, advantage on the saving throw. Is there anything that just like flat out knocks you prone? I don't know. This is fine. Okay. Seven. Was a O E shield.
10 feet of you is the target of an arranged attack. Attach. Attack. They can use their, but no, they can add the Additional, you know, I should have checked the paladin's wording. How the paladin's worded. Paladin. Sorry, look at this up on the right page. Uh, where is it? Or a protection. So at 6th level, whenever you were a friendly creature within 10 feet of you, you must make a saving throw. The creature gains a bonus to the saving throw, equal to your charisma modifier. Okay. Starting at 7th level... Your master of shield is allowing you to defend your allies to the fullest. An ally within 10 feet of you is the target of a ranged, ranged attack. Yeah, no, I don't limit it to just weapons. They can add the bonus from one of your shields to their AC. Additional. Additionally. I'm just going to copy from here. Whenever you... Whenever you are from the 10 feet, let's make a dexterity. There we go. Whenever you are from the creature from 10 feet, let's make a dexterity saving throw. The creature gains a bonus to saving throw equal to. shields cool but yeah like this one here that the first part could actually be pretty good because if you have okay I know there's the weapon the fighting style that gives you an AEC buff there's also one that allows you to defend your allies <coughs> excuse me um give, imposing disadvantages to reaction so you can do that give that do the attack disadvantage to hit your friend along with giving them an AC buff. That's pretty good. Okay. <clears throat> From one... Oh, okay. From one... Equal to bonus from a shield from from a a shield that you are you are wielding There we go. So now it's not implying the fact that they have multiple shields.
bonus from a shield. We can add the bonus from a shield. From a shield that you are wielding to their AC. over here yeah next week I'm probably gonna do Thursday again around 7 o'clock again um, I'm th I'll definitely have Dean Beyond up on another one, another one but I have too much stuff here right now that I'd rather you guys not see quite yet um, where am I looking at equipment armor and shields Okay. Plus two. Armor class. Plus two. Okay. I didn't realize that was... What? I'm just looking at this, and I have... What is... What's the thing called? I have beyond 20. And it's allowing me to roll based on the... So, like, the plus two it has... It's rollable. So I can roll armor class with the shield. 19, I got 20 before, so, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now let's do a 15th level ability. Fifteen. Okay, what is my 15th level ability? Fighter abilities. Psy Warrior. At 15th level, Bulwark of Force, and you can shield others. Ow. Oh. Am I literally just making a, slight, a different version of the Psy Warrior? Shield yourself and others with tonic force. The bonus action you can use. It. You can choose creatures which include you. Uh, that's just a passive AoE shield. Number of creatures you can choose. Each chosen creature is protected by half cover for one minute. Or until you are incapacitated. So this one here. Half cover, that's... Is it half cover and three quarters cover? I think it is. So half cover is plus three. So I think I literally made a more powerful version of it at seventh level. Hoof. Russian shield restrictions. Literally I have AoE AC buff. And shield bash and charge. I could make this seventh level ability. This here fifteen and next one eighteen. The bulwark of force is thirty feet, but it's also creature limited. Hmm. I want to. I was kind of thinking about pulling an artificer thing on it, saying you can attune to all shields, no, with no matter like the artificer has like an ability. I think it has. I've never actually got to play a high level campaign with artificer yet. It has the ability where you can attune to anything, no matter the prerequisite or restrictions. I'm thinking maybe do something with shields, but the thing is, normally if it has a restriction, it doesn't really affect you all that much. I mean, like, if for whatever reason you got a wizard only shield, it probably does something with spells and AC. You don't really have spells. Well, either that or you already have access to it. Like, spell slots and whatnot. Hmm. trying to think what kind of thing what's a good capstone ability for this I can't think about moving everything over one level 
having only a single third level ability. I didn't think about this. This is pretty powerful, I guess. Kind of, kind of situational. It is kind of situational. <clears throat> Holy cow, what if I did for the whole ability? You can basically just replace the bonus that a shield gives you and with your proficiency bonus. At 18th level, what's the proficiency bonus to 18th level? Oh, where is it? Class features. 18th level. Oh, come on. Where? I can't see it on here. Oh, wait, it's literally staring at it in the face. It's plus 6. That'd be untouchable. Half proficiency? That's just useless then. You probably need to tell you have two tower shields. That'd be exactly the same. What's the... I clicked away from it, dang it. I'm still on Paladin right now. What is Shield Master again? If the attack action returns to the creature in five feet. Bonus action. So basically, shield action is a bonus action. If you're incapacitated, it shields AC bonus to your dexterity saving throw. If you are subjected to an, to an effect that allows you to make a dexterity saving throw, take only half damage. You can use your action to take no damage if you succeed on a saving throw. I kind of want to make an ability that I give it ability. Look at how we to fly. Basically, where you can choose if a like a creature within five feet of you is attacked, you can take the attack instead. But is that a capstone ability? By eighteenth level, I think you probably have. 26 AC already. Um, I'm thinking about proficiency bonus. Like you're already at 18th level. What's a capstone ability? I probably should look at all the fighter capstone abilities. Um, what is Psy Warriors? The 18th level ability. Teleconnect Master. You can cast Telekinesis spell. Playing no components in your spell spellcasting ability for the spell uses intelligence on each of your turns while you concentrate the spell, including the turn you cast this, cast it. You can make an action, big one attack with, with the weapon. Like this is like a limitation. Once you cast a spell, this be yeah yeah yeah. Rune Knight. Shines light. 18th, Runic Juggernaut. You can learn how to amplify runes. Giant's Might feature D10. Whenever you use that feature, you can increase to huge. Your size can increase to huge while you are. So. Wait a second, Giant's Might. 
you're smaller than large, you become large. Oh, come on. Literally, I was wanting to make kind of like an Attack on Titan style subclass for Barbarian. Whenever you rage, you turn into a, you get bigger. But that takes that idea away because it's already existing. It's probably better. Runic Juggernaut. Deal extra damage. Okay, so it's not really end level stuff. So I think I'll make it that. Think how you dash over there. A creature within ten feet of you makes it eh, not makes is the target. to hit you, target you. Target you instead. You can use this feature a number of times equal to Efficiency. Efficiency bonus. I need to look something up. Um, let's look up. Um, half work. I should look for buildings. Um, it limits endurance. Can't use this feature again. Use this feature number of times to your Shield Bash Charge. D 
PC equals um, what is it? H. Is there spaces in this? Eight plus dex mod. Dex mod plus. How is this worded? DC. DC equals A plus for 50 plus plus constitution modifier. I'll take that. Thank you. What the heck what did I just do? Let's just get rid of that. Push 10 feet away from me. Okay, what the heck is this? There we go, I don't know what the heck that was. Okay, so we got this ability here, this ability here, this here, plus this here. Um, this is looking pretty good to me. So we can This is looking pretty good. Also, we're almost out of time. I'm gonna get myself to nine thirty to nine. Um, that's looking pretty good, I guess. Let's just work on the flavor text. Um, let's see. Um. Battlemaster, those who emulate the archetype, uh, the type of Battlemaster, employ material. Martial techniques passed down through generations. Champion, the archetypal champion focuses. Echo Knight, the mysterious. Okay, that thing just actually gets flavorful. Um, Guns, so that's not Cyber Warrior. It doesn't actually say archetype. Wait a second, did I just think the charge ability imposed onto the sh shield master? <coughs> shield. If you aren't incapacitated, you can add your shields. Yeah. Targets only you. Wait a second. The second point on Shield Master and the AoE Shield buff stacks. If you are capacitated, if you aren't incapacitated, you can add your shield's AC bonus to any dexterity saving throw you make against a spell or other harmful effects that targets only you. And then if a creed no not that. Oh, 15 now. Whenever you or a friendly creature within 10 feet of you makes a dexterity saving throw, the creature gains a bonus equal to your AC bonus from a shield you are wielding. So that's stacks. That's like a plus 6. As opposed to a plus 3. From your shield.
I don't want to put like a blanket thing that says it's like my, my fear with the shield master feat is that if you word it if you read it a certain way you'll think so this does not say a shield you are wielding it says you are shield it almost sounds like would they I guess it's your shield not your shields can you choose one I don't know shield Okay, well, I think I want, I don't, okay, I don't want to force them to take Shield Master. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to take away the U or never, I don't want to take the U or here. I just make it whenever a friendly creature with a 10 of you makes a dexterity saving throw. Because it make, does not make much sense if you don't get that also. Action. Okay, I'm just thinking heater shield now. So, while we're looking at shot, and you can plus two bonus to deck saving throws. Action. There we go. Okay, that balances that a little bit more <laughs> because. Heater shield, like do wielding heater shields, would that actually make a difference? That'd be exactly the same as do wielding tower shields. Oh uh, yeah, heater shield pretty much cancels out the second point of there of that shield master. The way it's worded now. It's even worse. There's the heater shield you can. It stacks. Oh my gosh. Everything's stacking and I don't want it to. Um. Yeah. Okay, flip our text and then end the stream. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna format this on. What's it called? Home brewery. Make it look all fancy like. And then I'll upload it to Reddit. Um R slash unearth Arcana. And I'll have to, I have to do that a lot. And then get feedback from people. Um I've done that with other subclasses I've made. I've made a a wizard wizard subclass, what's it called? Blight Mage, something like that. Don't quite remember off the top of my head. I made Blight Mage. I've made a we have color monk, basically the pow you know the um, the colored powder that people throw at each other for fun. That's basically a monk focused around that and making like gimmicky like cloud cover and stuff like that and whatnot, Co covering your enemies and coloring and then just punching them harder because they're covered in that stuff like that. Um, I made more. What else? I've made a jeweler artificer, basically focuses on like imbuing jewels and jewelry with with magic. Yeah, I'll post those somewhere. They're available on Home Brewery. I'll post a link somewhere to get so you guys can get to that. Put on my page, my channel. Um. Okay, now let's just word this. Battle Shield Masters. That sounds weirdy. Those who their energy, <clears throat> which honestly, I'm looking at the subclass right now. It doesn't limit you to having to wield two shields. Like it's not like like the ranger class where you don't have to wield a bow but most of your abilities affect bows or most of your spells actually affect bows um but like if you want to be a shield battle master battle shield master you can and still use like a, a sword if you want to 
you just have a lot of shield abilities. I like that. It's nice. Anyway, those who focus the energy focus their time and energy on mastering mastering the shield. themselves defending the, the key members of a armies key members of armies or The masses in riots. Some, some even. That is literally what I just in the first one. Guards two. Uh, what is in the word for a guard? Look after safeguard defend. No, please patrol. Um. Escort. There we go. And that's the one I was thinking of. Escorts. Escorts of merchant. Both offense wrong in defense, apparently. Defense, offense. Okay, that's good enough for now. So, okay. So, guys, I guess I'm, I guess I'll see you next week. I'm probably I'm planning on being I'm going live again at 7 o'clock next week. I will. I better have a thumbnail done before then. I'll see if I have this done. I'll, I'll put a finished copy of this in the comments, assuming it's done by then. Assuming people are done combing through it by then. Um, and yeah. See you guys. Thanks for sh thanks for coming. Bye.